Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Gento. And if you didn't already know, hit that subscribe button for more NBA Live 14, 2K14 info, daily videos, all that good stuff. And if you enjoy the video and find this info useful, go ahead, leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Now, let's get to this. Earlier today on Twitter, the EA NBA Live account, they was going in, giving us a little detail on what to expect in NBA Live 14. And as you see on the screen, this is actual gameplay from NBA Live 14. Now, from what we've seen at E3 and all the other images that have leaked, this is beautiful. Now, the first thing I noticed was the player builds. Look at Kyrie Irving, then look at Damian Lillard. You can tell they're not copy and pasting those player builds. On 2K13, current gen you got guys like kevin durant looking super buff just as buff as the referee just as buff as derrick rose because it's pretty much copy and pasted but on here you can see everybody has their own player build like look at the ref you can tell the referee is super slender just like kyrie and damian lillard is much buffer now another thing i noticed just from looking at this on the road you get to have black socks something small is that it plays a key role also the shoes look at the shoes nobody's wearing generics unless they upgraded those generics it looks like everybody has on their own shoe and the detail is flawless now I'm impressed so far now let's take a look well if you can look closely at the crowd you can tell that the crowd is pretty hype and not everybody in the crowd is doing the same animation now that's how it should be. It shouldn't be just one animation for every single person in the crowd. You see some people looking like they're actually trying to do the jump shot like Damian Lillard. Maybe that's a big game moment. Now, some info that was released. Earlier this week, we found out that Live 14 is going to be pushed back. I got a little worried. I was like, damn, did they throw in a towel again? But it's now announced that it will come out November the 19th maybe with this extra time that they took off they're trying to make their game as good as it can be because think about it it's been away for so many years and honestly the more time they take to actually perfect this game the better especially since I'm pretty sure they got guys out there working on social media they know how heated 2k fans were when we found out that crew isn't what we expected look at fifa they got a pro clubs they got an ultimate team madden there's a way for you to team up online there's an ultimate team so rising star and ultimate team you might as well just throw it in the books it's going to be in the game now they said they were answering questions so i asked a question i said will you be able to take your rising star player online and compete against or play with friends unfortunately I didn't get an answer for that maybe they're keeping that under wraps they did say that they will talk more about modes later this week so this is gonna be a big week for NBA Live 14 now also while they were tweeting they mentioned hoop physics so they took time into actually nailing the physics of the hoop like you know more importantly each player has their own dribbling package and 50 plus have their own signature moves thanks to bounce tech now i like this so if you control derrick rose you're coming down you're pushing up court you see his dribble package it's not going to be like kyrie irving's dribble package and if they have legends let's say tim hardaway he has nice dribble moves just like Allen iverson no two dribble moves are the same and in the past 2k actually had something like dribble packages so i'm glad to see that this is in the game and signature moves now this could mean two things guys like dirk Nowinski. you know when he shoots he kicks his leg out i would love to see that just for him just exclusively for dirk kobe bryant in the post he has his little thing so seeing Kobe in the post should be different than seeing someone else like Monte Ellis in the post. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's another thing I want to bring up. They said playoff atmosphere. 
playoff atmosphere will be in NBA Live 14. They didn't say much about it, but if what I'm thinking is true, look at this. Maybe this is somewhat of a heads up of what playoff atmosphere could be. The crowd is a little blurry, but my assumption. During the playoffs, you're going to notice the crowd getting more hype than usual. So that's how it should be. The crowd shouldn't get hype for a regular game. Playoffs are where it's at. I'm not saying that they should just be all dead and asleep during regular games. You know what I'm talking about. Last but not least, dedicated servers. This was somewhat already announced for most next-gen titles, especially on Xbox One. But in NBA Live 14, they will have dedicated servers, so you won't really have to worry about that lag, especially in Ultimate Team. Now, what do you think about this? If you can ask EA one question, what will it be? Me personally, like I said, I'm interested in this rising star. I want to see if you can take him online and basically have your own crew. So far, Live 14 is looking good. It's shaping up to be what a lot of Live fans have expected. They say gameplay trailer will be this week, so let's see how that turns out. Hope you guys enjoy till next time not only should you leave a like and subscribe for more new videos but you should also follow me on twitter there's no reason not to